Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In today's video lecture, we will discuss decimal representation of a rational number and irrational number. How we can represent rational and irrational number in decimal form that will be discussed in this video lecture. In previous video lecture, we discussed rational numbers and irrational numbers by defining them uh, in the set builder notation form. If a number is written in the form of p by q where p and q belongs to integers and q is not equal to 0 then such type of numbers are called rational numbers. The set of rational number is denoted by q and we uh, discussed in detail that why we write the set operational number in the uh, set builder notation and how many methods are there to write the sets in different forms those are rational uh, sorry those are three methods uh, descriptive form uh, uh, tabular form and set builder notation so we write the set operational number in the uh, set builder notation so that is the definition that we discussed in the previous video lecture those are the examples 2 by 5 10 minus 17 that is a max number which is equal to 7 by 4 all those are the rational number because you clearly see that 2 by 5 that is the form of the number p by q the, here in case of 2 by 5 the value of p is 2 and the value of q is uh, 5 and you know from the set of integers uh, the 2 is also an integer and 5 is also an integer and 5 is obviously not equal to 0 so according to this definition 2 by 5 is an uh, rational number similarly 10 is also a rational number we discussed a result that uh, all the uh, real numbers whole numbers and integers are the proper subset of rational numbers so that's why 10 is also a real number uh, so 10, uh, 10 is a natural number or you can say whole number or you can say an integer but it is a rational number because all the natural numbers whole numbers and integers are the proper subset of uh, rational number and uh, according to this definition if we want to uh, check that 10 is a rational number or irrational number so you clearly see that 10 can be written as 10 by 1 so uh, 10 by 1 means 10 and that is the quotient form or you can say the ratio form because rational is actually come from ratio so 10 by 1 is a ratio form now uh, the value of p is 10 and the value of q is 1 both p and q belongs to set of integer you all know that set of integers contain 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and so on so this condition uh, this satisfies the above condition as well as q is also not equal to 0 1 is obviously not equal to 0 so that is also a rational number minus 17 can be written as minus 17 by 1 so it is also a rational number but in short you remember all natural number whole numbers and integers are rational numbers and besides natural because besides natural uh, whole and integers there are a lot of rational numbers you clearly see the 2 by 5 if you convert that into the decimal form uh, which is actually the topics of the today video lecture so that is not a rational number uh, that is not an integer whole or uh, natural number so we discussed a result also in the previous video lecture that every integer or every rational or every real number must be a rational number but it is not necessary that every rational number must be an integer or whole or natural so the result is i am repeating again that every rational uh, every integer is a rational number remember every integer is a rational number but the converse is not true but the converse 
is not true we discussed that in previous video lecture as well the converse is not true mean every rational number is not necessary to be an integer set of irrational number those numbers which are which cannot be written in the form of pyq uh, is irrational number the set of irrational number is denoted by capital q and dash uh, and uh, uh, square root 7 so square root 7 can be written as square root 7 by 1 it is a ratio but in this ratio the value of p which is square root 7 is not an integer so this condition is pale so that's why we can say that this square root 7 is not a rational number so it is a irrational number pi which is actually the ratio of the circumference of a circle to a diameter of a circle so it is also an irrational number we will discuss the decimal representation of these rational and irrational number in detail in this video lecture okay uh, we already discussed a point that the square root of a non-perfect square is also is always irrational so remember that point as well that is discussed in previous video lecture that the um, square root square root of non-perfect non-perfect square non-perfect square number is always irrational perfect square number are 4 is a perfect square because it can be written as 2 power to 16 is a perfect square because it can be written as 4 power to uh, 9 is a perfect square 3 power to 25 is a perfect square 5 power to 36 is a perfect square 6 power to 49 is a perfect square 7 power to 81 is a perfect square and so on 144 is a perfect square so these are the perfect square so these are all the points that we discussed in the previous video lecture in this video lecture we will discuss the decimal representation operation in number for example if i consider 1 by 2 so th this 1 by 2 is actually in decimal representation is equal to 0 0.5 so now after the decimal the number of the digits are finite after the decimal the number of digits are finite so that is the case for the rational number if after the decimal the number of the digits are finite mean uh, the number is terminated so such type of uh, decimal number are called rational numbers but if i write 1 by 3 so according to this definition according to this definition 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 both are rational number because both written in the ratio are in the quotient form and the value of p and q are integer and q is not equal to zero so according to this definition one by two and one by three is rational number but if one by two is written in the form of the uh, decimal representation 0.5 or 0 0.5 so it is rational because uh, you can <coughs> remember that after the decimal if the number of the digits are finite or you can say uh, if after the decimal the number terminated so then you can say those decimal representation of a number is always be rational similarly if i consider one by three that is a rational number but if it is given in the decimal representation so that is 0 0.333 and so on so the three dots represent that this number will never terminate and it repeats itself so <clears throat> this can be also written as 0 0.3 bar bar mean this number never never end this number will per ever uh, going so uh, you clearly see that 1 by 3 is a rational according to this definition and 
uh, in case of the dissimilar representation after the point the number of the digits are infinite but they are repeating itself so whenever after the decimal if the number of the digits are finite mean terminated or if after the decimal the number of the digits are infinite mean non terminating but it repeat itself so those two cases will be the rational number so it is also a rational number now we properly coming towards the uh, rational numbers okay from here you see that every rational number can be written as either a terminating decimal or a repeating decimal i gave the example that 1 by 2 which is 0.5 so that is the terminating decimal after the decimal the number of the digits are finite so that is the terminating decimal or 1 by 3 0 0.333 and so on so that is the repeating decimal it never terminates but it repeats so both the cases are rational number thus all the terminating and repeating decimal are rational number so these are the example 3 by 8 according to the definition that we discussed in previous video lecture that uh, q the number x which is rational is written in the form of p by q p and q belongs to integer and q is not equal to 0 so according to that 3 by 8 is an integer clearly 3 by 8 is an integer because the value of p is 3 and the value of q is 8 both p and q are integer and q is not equal to 0 so that 3 by 8 is an integer but if it given uh, if uh, but if 3 by 8 is given in the decimal representation so how you can check that it is a rational or irrational so you clearly see that after the decimal the number of the digits are finite there are three digits three seven and five so it means that that is the terminating decimal that is the terminating decimal so if it is a terminating decimal so terminating and repeating decimals are always rational number so it is a rational number if you see to 2 by 15 so 2 by 15 is also a rational number according to this definition but if the 2 by 15 is written in the decimal form decimal representation which is 0 0.133 and so on which is also written as 0 0.13 bar the bar over 3 represent that the digit 3 is repeated per hour so that is a repeated decimal uh, sorry that is a non-terminating repeating decimal that is non-terminating repeating that is uh, a terminating decimal terminating decimal so that is a rational and that is non-terminating non-terminating repeating decimal so both the cases will represent the rational number okay the bar over 3 means that the digit 3 will repeat it per hour okay now irrational number an irrational number is a number whose decimal representation never terminates or repeats so you see the example uh, if the decimal representation of a number is never terminates as well as never repeats so that must be the irrational number in the decimal representation so 0 0.01001001000001 so you see that they after the decimal uh, they are non terminating as well as non repeating you clearly see that that is non terminating non terminating as well as and non repeating so those decimal which are uh, those decimal representations which are non terminating and non repeating is always be 
representing i in irrational number square root 7 we already discussed that square root 7 can be written as square root 7 by 1 so according to this definition square root 7 or square root 7 by 1 is not a rational number because although that is the quotient pump p by q but the value of p is square root 7 and square root 7 is not an integer because this definition says p by q form is said to be rational if p and q are integer and q is not equal to 0 so square root 7 is not an integer so that's why square root 7 is not a rational number so if it is not a rational so remember those numbers which are not rational is said to be irrational so square root 7 is an irrational number according to this definition but if you uh, write that in the decimal form so the decimal form of the square root 7 is 2.6457513 and these three dots shows the the number goes per hour that will never end it so you see that after the decimal the numbers are non-terminating as well as non-repeating you clearly see that that after the decimal the number of the digits are infinite non-terminating and those digits are not repeating so that's why if the decimal representation is uh, non-repeating non-terminating so it is an irrational number so that is an irrational number similarly 5 which is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to a diameter of a circle the value of the phi is 3.1415927 and so on so that is an irrational number because after the decimal the number of the digits are non-terminating and non-repeating so that is also an irrational number and uh, in calculations we use the value of pi uh, correct up to some decimal places if someone consider the value of pi equal to 3.14 which is 22 by 7 remember 22 by 7 is rational remember that is an important point remember 22 by 7 which is equal to 3.14 that is the approximate value of the phi these two either the decimal uh, representation are the quotient or the ratio 22 by 7 both are rational numbers and pi is an irrational number but in calculation we cannot use the uh, infinite digits after the decimal so how you can write the infinite number of the digits uh, in a calculation so we uh, uh, take an approximate value of the pi so if you consider 3.14 is the value of phi so that is the approximate value or you can say that 3.14 is the correct value of the phi up to two decimal places because after the uh, decimal point you consider two digits if you consider three digits or four digits so that will be the correct value of the phi up to three decimal places or four decimal places respectively so these are the decimal representation of the uh rational and irrational numbers okay uh in the exercise uh, we are considering an example before to discuss the exercise question example number one that is 3 by 8 and 2 by 15 you need to convert those in the decimal fractions so it is so easy to convert these into the decimal fractions 2 by uh, sorry 3 by 8 you need to convert that in the decimal uh, fraction so that is 3 and that is 8 that is the uh, divisor and that is the divider you clearly see that the divisor is greater than the uh, dividend so you need to put point here in the quotient so that will become uh, 30 now if you multiply uh, 3 with 8 so you will get 24 and that is actually 30 but we cannot write here 30 so you need to subtract 24 from 30 so you will get 60 
so here you see that that is your last reminder so if you still want to continue the process of division you need to put zero here because the divisor is greater than the dividend so it is not possible you need uh, to make the dividend greater than the divisor so that is the 60 now multiply 8 with 7 so you will get uh, 56 subtract it from 50, uh, 60 you will get 4 write 0 with 4, uh, 0 with 4 so that is 40 now multiply 8 with 5 you will get 40 minus so you will get a reminder 0 so from that we conclude that 3 by 8 is equal to 0 0.375 so you clearly see that 3 by 8 is a rational number from the definition uh, p by q and pq belongs to integer and q is not equal to 0 as well as that 3 by 8 that fraction that quotient form in form of the decimal representation is actually a terminating decimal so because after the decimal the number of the digits are finite so you know terminating decimals are rational numbers so that is a rational number similarly if i consider 2 by 15 so that is 2 and that is 15 so clearly the dividend is less than the divisor so you need to make that the dividend is greater than the divisor so you put point in the quotient so it will become 20 so if you multiply 15 with 1 so you will get 15 so that is actually 20 because you put point in the quotient so 20 minus 15 you will get 5 now you put 15 with uh, 0 with 5 because 5 is the uh, will be considered the dividend if you need uh, if you want to carry the division process further so 15 is the uh, divisor so you need to make the dividend greater than the divisor so we put zero with that and we already put a point so you can uh, put zero with five so it become 50 so here you can multiply 15 with three so that is 45 so subtracted you will get 5 then you put 0 with 5 become 50 15 multiplied by 3 again so you will get 45 minus you will get 5 and this process will continue forever so you see that uh, that is the reminder you get and that is the quotient so 2 by 15 is you know from the definition of that x is equal to p by q and pq belongs to integer and q is not equal to 0 is a rational number but in case of the decimal representation it is a repeating decimal non-terminating and repeating so you clearly know from the definition that non-terminating repeating decimals are rational so that is uh, the uh, decimal representation of 2 by 15 and it is rational because it is non-terminating non but it is repeating so these are the examples so the next exam the assignment for you people is that is assignment number two exercise 2.1 question number 11 you need to convert 1 by 6 5 by 6 2 by 9 and 1 by 8 into the decimal representation and then uh, you need to write that it is rational or irrational although all those will be rational because the quotients you see are rational because all the quotients are in palm of the p by q and both pq are integer and q is not equal to zero so that is assignment number two all of you is not submitted assignment number one so please do assignment number one and submit it as soon as possible that is assignment number one uh, in the previous video lecture that we uh, also discuss in the zoom class we discuss different types of the sets set of natural number set of whole number set of integers set of rational set of irrational and then i gave you this assignment that is question number one to 10 of the exercise 2.1 you need to choose the uh, whole number integer rational and so on from these set of numbers so these set of number is already given so please do the assignment number one as soon as possible and that assignment number two as well and submit it through whatsapp or uh, email as soon as possible okay now the 
last uh, small topic for the exercise 2.1 is uh, uh, representation of real number by a number line so you all know that there is a one one correspondence between real numbers and the set of the points which make a real line remember that there is one one correspondence one one correspondence between the real numbers and the points which make a line mean for every point in the set of real number we have a point on a line and for every point on the line we have a real number so that is called one one correspondence if you choose a line so this line is actually made from set of points you join set uh, infinite set of points so it make a line so this line is actually made from infinite number of points these arrows in both the direction represent that the, uh, the line will never end in either direction so and you all know that the real number which is the union of rational and irrational are also infinite so for each point on the plane uh, so sorry for each point on the real line we have a real number and for each real number in the set of real numbers we have a real we have a point from the line so that is one one correspondence so uh, if i consider this zero so i assign uh, zero to this point if i consider this point on this line i assign zero to that it is not necessary uh, that you can always assign zero to this point you can take a point from here and you can also assign zero to that point as well okay but we initially assign zero to the point we choose initially on the line is that zero is actually used for the reference so on the right side of the zero the uh, numbers are positive that is one two three and so on and on the left side we conventionally consider the numbers are negative uh, if you see to this point we assign one to this point so what does it mean it means uh, nothing but that is the geometrical representation of one that the point which is assigned one is actually lying one unit away from your reference point and if it is a positive one assigned to the point so that point will lies on the right side of that reference point and if you see to the minus one so minus one is also assigned to a point on a number on a uh, real line or you can say on a number line so this uh, point this minus one shows that this point to which that minus one is assigned is actually one unit away from the reference point but it is towards the left so we write minus with that for the direction so geometrical representation of one mean one is actually assigned to a point on the number line so that point will always be one unit away from the reference point and if it is positive one so it will be uh, towards the right of the reference point if you uh, someone ask from you that minus 10 what is the geometrical meaning of the minus 10 so minus 10 will be actually assigned to a point on the number line and that point to which you assign minus 10 will actually lies minus 10 unit away from the reference point mean the distance between the point which you assign minus 10 and the reference point which to which you assign 0 will be having 10 unit distance and the minus 10 the point to which you assign minus 10 will be always on the left of the reference point so that is the geometrical meaning so that is the uh, real line or you can say number line representation between 0 and 1 
you we have infinite numbers because between every two rational numbers there are infinite uh, numbers so that is the uh, number representation on a real line so that is the last example Represent the following real number on the number line 3 by 4, 2 by 5, 1 by 3. So, first you convert it into the uh, decimal representation 3 by 4 is 0 0.7, 2 by 5 is 0 0.4, 1 by 3 is approximately equal to 0 0.3 because 1 by 3 is no terminating repeating decimal, but you cannot consider that 0 0.3333 um, accurately. So, we consider 0.3 only so that is the approximate that is the notation for the approximate that is not equal that is approximate so that is the number line or you can say real number line we need to plot or represent 0 0.75 so 0 1 0 0.75 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 lies between 0 and 1 so this 0 1 is further zoomed and I divide that into uh, further 10 uh, parts so you see that that is 0 that is 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.99 1.0 so you see that that is 0 0.3 so that is the representation of 0 0.3 and the number line so it will be somewhere here but for the uh, clarity purpose uh, I zoom that uh, portion up rail line from 0 to 1 uh, so 0 0.3 will be lies somewhere here similarly 0 0.4 will be lies somewhere here so that is the 0 0.4 and uh, that is 0 0.7 and that is 0 0.8 so 0 0.75 will be between 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 in the mid of the 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 because it de actually 0 0.75 is the middle value of 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 so it will be lie here so it will be lies somewhere here so that is the 0 0.75 approximately so that is the procedure to represent a real number on a number line remember rational and irrational number are real numbers the union of rational and irrational become real number so the next assignment is you need to convert the quotient forms into decimal form and then you need to dispatch or represent those real number or you can say rational number on the number line so that is the next assignment please uh, do the assignments assignment number one is also due and the rest of the two assignments are question 11 and question 12 of the exercise 2.1 please do these assignments and submit through email or whatsapp as soon as possible thank you